Hello guys, welcome to Anime Senpai, and I'm glad to have you here with me. Today's topic is a popular one. We'll be looking at 10 anime with a protagonist that looks weak. Nevertheless, the MC is actually overpowered. These kind of anime usually have a comic vibe to it, but there are also a lot with stunning animation and great action scenes. Let's get right to the business of the day. At the bottom of the list, we have... 10. Monster Strike This anime has short 8-minute episodes, but there are quite a lot of them, so you would definitely not run out of its episodes to watch in a single day. Also, this anime is an adoption of a game, so many people don't think much of it. However, it is still a decent anime. The main character, Ren Homura, comes back to his hometown, but instead of having some nostalgic vibes, he just gets some vague flashbacks of the place, and that's it. But then, when he goes and gets his cell phone back from the repair shop, he finds an odd app on his phone. It's a game called Monster Strike. Just like any boy would, he tries opening the app, only to get instantly attacked by a strange man. If that weren't enough, the man summons a monster. With no possible way out, Rin also ends up summoning a monster dragon. The name of this dragon is Oregon, and he tells Rin that he will crush the other monster. Now, the important question here is whether or not the Oregon is actually strong. Nine. Tales of Symphonia If you love a good adventure anime featuring cool martial arts, then Tales of Symphonia is the right one for you. The fantasy anime from Ufotable involves two worlds relying on each other. One has to perish for the other to progress. The dying world decides to send someone to awaken the spirits, thus restoring the world's mana. As our protagonist sets out on this journey with her friends, she is bound to meet a lot of enemies on the way. Nevertheless, with a mission so great she cannot afford to fail. 8. Muyo to Roji no Mahoritsu Sodan Jimohu This title translates to Muhyo and Roji's Bureau of Supernatural Investigation. And while the shounen is sure to give you a good laugh, its major focus is on mysteries and the supernatural. Studio Dean infuses action and drama to the plot that seeks to serve justice to evil spirit. But how can that be achieved? Muyo and Roji are experts in magic law, and if you need to chase away a ghost or an unwanted spirit, then they are your best bet. This anime tells the journey of these two as they investigate the supernatural and keep us entertained with their specialty. 7. Gleepnir Next on the list is Gleepnir. It's a 2020 anime by Pine Jam Studios. This anime doesn't shy away from violence and gore is one of its selling points. The supernatural elements employed in the anime give it a mysterious feel and the action is very good too. There's a bit of ecchi, by the way. This scene in anime focuses on the life of Shuichi Kagaya, a high school boy with the ability to turn into a monster. On a fateful day, he saves a girl from a burning house and he forgets his phone in the scene. This marks the beginning of his problems. After a series of events, he decides to help the girl find her sister, who turned into a monster. 6. Itai no Walia Nano de Bugyu Yorku ni Kyoku Furi Shitai to Omoimasu. After a while of bugging from her friend, Kaide Honju hesitantly agrees to try New World Online, an extremely popular VR MMO played by hundreds of thousands of people across Japan. She names her in game character Maple and sets out on her journey. She's a proper noob to this genre, and she allocates all of her stat points to vitality in order to not lose any health. With zero stat points in any of the other categories, Maple has extremely high defense, but she can't hit hard or move very fast. Lucky for her though, due to her high defense, Maple acquires a bunch of overpowered skills such as total defense, poison immunity, and devour. These skills come hand in hand along with a bunch of the new items she acquires in the game, which allow her to destroy enemies in a single hit. After only a few days worth of playtime, she gains the reputation as a player that is both unkillable and overly powerful. 5. Hitori no Shita This show is a Chinese-styled anime that talks of a legendary warrior with a powerful hidden battle style. The events are put into motion once the main character decides to go off to visit the grave of his grandfather, Chao, who is in secret, a very powerful fighter able to destroy all adversity in his way while remaining unscathed. His life takes a weirder turn, though, as he gets attacked by zombies during his visit, only to be rescued by an even weirder girl slashing the zombies with a kitchen knife. Waking up the next day in his room, he tries to ignore what happened and denies it was even real only to find that same girl enrolled in his school, and the thing he doesn't know yet is that he has even higher potential than his grandfather did. 
4. Captain Earth Daichi is a 17-year-old kid that lost his father in a space mission gone wrong. One day, he witnesses on the TV a rainbow formation broadcast from the Tanegashima Space Center. He returns, and because of his skill at a particular arcade game, it makes him the perfect pilot for the Earth Engine Impactor. He might seem underwhelming at first and inexperienced, but he proves in later episodes that he was worthy of his position all along, and he is the best when it comes to protecting Earth and its people by piloting his mecha. Three, Wandering Witch, The Journey of Elena. Known in Japanese as Majo no Tabitabi, this anime at the number 8 spot aired its 12 episodes in 2020. It has a focus on adventure and fantasy and it features the delectable Elena who has a fascination with a witch in one of her favorite childhood books. This makes her to strive to become a witch and she succeeds despite all the obstacles that show up on her way. This is where the legendary tale of the great witch Elena begins. She starts to journey across different lands meeting numerous people of contrasting cultures. In this fantasy show, we explore these unknown lands through the eyes of a glorious witch. And if you're an adventurer like me, then you will love this show. Two, Chain Chronicle, Heiseidas no Hikari. Another one of those video game adaptations that people love to hate on. You're sure starting to wonder whether the name of the video doesn't fit the context at all, but Chain Chronicle, Heiseidas no Hikari, shows you a world that's beautiful and grand at the same time, with the show bringing a side to royalty that we haven't seen in a lot of shows before. Sure, Yuguto has its share of wars and battles, ready to get any action head glue their eyes to the screen, but with the anime pulling up the ace up its sleeve, all of a sudden, these monsters won't be the only thing any of us would have our hands full with. Aram is literally about Aram his way through the universe that the anime is based in, and with a lot of foes to serve as the perfect target for him to pull off those moves. Chain Chronicle Heiseidas no Hikari is a must-watch for any fantasy action fan out there. 1. Tensei Shitara Slime Data Ken That time I got reincarnated as a slime. That time I got reincarnated as a slime is an epic adventure fantasy. The anime features the story of a 37-year-old corporate worker who meets his doom and in his final moments he tells his friend that he must get rid of his hard drive and just like that, he kicks the bucket. However, he gets reincarnated as a slime and not only that, he's also given very versatile abilities that allow him to absorb various skills like a slime. Uh huh, get it? On his very first adventure, he meets the legendary dragon Veldora and the two of them not only become friends but also give each other full names. The slime is now Rimiru Tempest, but this is still just the start of his journey in this fantasy world. 